before we even get into the run, I'm going to need chat's help, actually. Because I, I don't remember. I always get this messed up. I believe that in order to download and use the item description mod, you have to have beaten Mom's Heart one time. Is that correct, chat? Once you've beaten one run, just let's, let's just say that. Get the external item description mod. It's going to help you out immensely. It's going to save you from having to tab out and look for the picture of the icon on Platinum God, which Platinum God's a great website, but it's just going to help you out a lot in remembering what things do. Get it ingrained in your head. I'm just going to say that right now. Download the external item description mod if you have played the game at all. I know there's plenty of mods in the game that if they change your game too much, like they change the gameplay, it will affect your ability to get unlocks. Um, but anything that's just visuals... Uh, like, if you want to change the beast into a big titty mommy, I saw that one yesterday for the first time. That's not going to affect whether or not you get unlocks. But if you were to make, you know, magic mush spawn ten times more often, then yeah, you're going you're gonna to hurt your ability to get uh, unlocks. Today, just to do the overexplained, I've never done one of these before. We're just going to play Isaac. He's the basic character. He starts off with a decent amount of HP, a decent amount of damage and everything. He's chilling. He gets the D6 once you've unlocked it. We're going to go over everything. We do need to get out of Greedier currently because we were playing some Greed runs earlier on some harder characters. We're just going to go in. We're going to play a run. Our goal this run is Mega Satan. You can see over on the post-it, all of those little icons represent a different thing, a different thing that you can beat in the game. And once you've beaten it, it'll show up on the post-it, uh, just representing that you've gotten all of the unlocks on the character we got one normal character with a couple of things left to do i've never done one of these before like i've said about a ha a thousand times but uh yeah all right i'm not gonna explain the lore of the game the lore is whatever i'm just gonna explain everything when you start off here from top to bottom you got your money money you got your bombas you got your keys and then here, you got speed, your tier rate, so how often you fire. A higher number equals more tiers. <clears throat> this is your damage with the sword. That's your range, and that's your shot speed. That right there is your luck. That's your ability, your chance of getting a devil deal, and your chance of getting an angel deal. All right. So, you come on into the first floor. Your Isaac, you got the D6. If you press space bar... You will uh, change any item pedestals in the room into another random item item pedestal from the item pool that you are getting it from. That's very key because there might be some times where you're going to go into a room. Let's say, for instance, an example, you get the Fallen as your boss, right? The Fallen guarantees that a devil deal will spawn if you beat the Fallen. But I'm pretty sure if you re-roll that, it'll re-roll into the boss pool, for instance. There's plenty of times where this works, especially with an item like Pandora's Box. Uh, if you open up Pandora's Box, it a lot of times gives you a boss item. But if you just opened it up in a random room like this, it'll give you... Uh, it'll give you a uh, an item room pool. Anyways, so you can see we could go left in, or right into a small room, down into a rather long room. Or we could go up and peek at the cursed room. So... You got different kinds of HP. You got your red hearts. Obviously, you got your soul hearts and your black hearts. Um, the red hearts are heart containers that can be refilled with hearts. Uh, the soul hearts are one-time use hearts. Once they're gone, they're gone. And black hearts are like soul hearts, except they deal damage to the room when you lose them. So a good, t a good tip is if you have plenty of red hearts and you feel like you can go into the cursed room, it's usually a pretty good idea. The cursed room is a risk versus reward. You got to take damage going in and going out. But you might come in and get Guppy's fucking collar right off the goddamn bat. <laughs> so we opened up the red chests. The red chests are uh, basically devil chests, essentially. Uh, they have a 10% chance every single time that you open one of teleporting you to the, the, the devil or the angel deal on your floor, whatever one you would get if the boss, if you finish the boss. And inside the chest, that can be pills. It can be bombs. A lot of times it's bombs. Or it can be a select few items from the devil pool, including guppy items, which are very, very good. You get three guppy items, you turn into guppy, you get unlocks in this game uh, for beating random, or for beating different bosses with different characters, and for completing different things. So that poster that we talked about, that represents all of the bosses that we've beaten, and you need to beat a specific boss with a specific character in order to get the D6 unlocked for Isaac. 
That makes sense? So you can see up here that this is the external item description mod. Isn't that great? This is why you should download it. What does Guppy's Collar do? Gives you a 50% chance of reviving on death. You could technically revive infinite number of times. It's a great item. Always take a Guppy piece if you see it. The only one that I would be wary of, of, of picking up right off the bat would be nine lives. And we'll we'll talk about that when, when we get there. But for now, we're going to take the Guppy's Collar. Very Omega Pog. We're coming back out. We're one HP down. All good. All you got to do is just dodge. Coming up against the Dingle. They charge at you. It's pretty easy. You just move perpendicular to them. Pretty dope. Now, this is one thing that upsets the fuck out of me. Is when I watch other content creators, they don't break poops. They don't break fires. And then they complain that they don't have enough money for items in the stores. Poops have a chance of dropping money. Fires have a chance of dropping money. Use your G-Dang fucking tears to blow them up. All right, here we are in an item room. That enemy right there, if it had touched us, it wouldn't have dealt damage to us. Would have taken two charges out of our item. Anyways, we come across our first item room. We get Purity, a very poggy item. It's got a long description, but it's there to read. Basically, anytime that you walk into a room, you're going to have an aura, right? And that aura, if it's red, you get plus four damage. Blue, plus four tears. Yellow, plus 0.5 shot speed. And orange, or speed, excuse me, not shot speed, plus 0.5 speed. Or orange, 3.0 range. So you can take this item, or you could decide to reroll it with your D6. Now, here's where we get into item pools. Every single room has a different item pool. If you don't know what item pool you're in, you're most likely in the item room item pool. I know that sounds confusing, but this is called the treasure room. It's the treasure room item pool. If I'm out here, I'm still in the treasure room item pool. Here, I'm still in the treasure room item pool. The treasure room item pool is fucking massive. Absolutely fucking massive. So I would recommend as a general tip, hold off on rerolling the item pool. If you came in here and there's a shit tier item, most most likely, especially if it's on an early floor or, you know, if you've been doing the entire floor, you can see where the boss is. Uh, you, you can tell you don't have enough rooms left to reroll. Go do your boss. See if you get a deal. Reroll that more likely because those pools are smaller, more likely to give you good items. And then if they do give you good items without you needing to reroll, then I would say come back and reroll this. What is the number next to the item mean? Uh, it's just the value of the item. This is a two value item. All right, let's see what we get. We get the tier rate. So you can see how much faster we're firing. Now with purity, uh, if I take damage in a room, I'll lose that aura. But then when I walk into another room, I'll get another random aura until I take damage again. So you might see me for a while. Like if I go into the next room, take a hit, and then uh, I walk out and I get the fucking range up, I might tank a couple of hits. In order to in, in order to get a better aura. It's pretty smart to do, especially before a boss fight. If you've got the expendable HP or if you got hearts on the floor. To make sure that you grab a decent aura. Also, I'm being very careful right here not to break that rainbow poop. So rainbow poop is definitely something you need to unlock in the game. Game! Uh, if you break it, it will give you full red heart HP. It'll refill all of your red hearts. All right, our first shop. First item room, first shop. They don't cost a key to get into. Every single one after that does. Uh, unless you're playing something like the Tainted Keeper. But we're just talking about in general here. Uh, you walk into the shop. You get a bunch of shit for sale. Isaac's pogging because he sees the black candle here. It gives you immunity to curses. No more curse of the blind. Curse of the unknown. All the things that the floors can give you. Also gives you one black heart. And it gives you a higher devil, higher devil slash angel room chance. That's the big poggy of it. Is the, is the HP... And the higher devil slash angel room chance. A very good item to get. Very poggy item. We do like getting black candle. You also get a pill. We can talk about pills. Uh, most people who play a lot of Isaac don't really like pills all that much because they're very random. It could be a tears up. It could be a tears down. Speed up, speed down. You don't know until you've seen that pill. And then for the rest of that run, that pill that's red and white will be that pill. Every time you find it, it'll be that exact pill again. But then once you go to a different run, it'll change and be random again, right? Obviously, you got a bomb, you got a key, you got a, a full charge for your item. Full charges gives you six, uh, gives you, uh, six, six ticks of your space bar item. So if you have something nice. that fills up a little bit more, it won't refill it entirely. Obviously, just a soul heart there. We talked about those. Um, Clap Punter, thank you for the 14 months. So we're going to move along down the room. We've got that, we've got one heart left in the item room. Remember that, that if we were to take some damage, we could go back and pick up another heart. Um, another good tip here is if you were in that shop right there and you had five cents and that's all you had, you got nothing left. Don't buy that black heart or don't buy that soul heart. 
and I'll tell you why. So, floor one, you can see down here, I got a 0% chance of an angel or a devil deal. There are some things you can do to change that. I don't think we have any of those available at the moment. Um, but 0% chance, you're not going to get an angel or a devil deal most of the time on floor one. But floor two, however, it goes up to 100% chance to deal with the devil. And in order to get that deal with the devil, you need to beat the entire floor. Well, just the boss, really. But most of the time, that requires you to beat a lot of the floor. Beat the boss without taking any red heart HP damage. So, if you have a soul heart on the floor on floor one, leave it on the floor. Do the entire floor, and then before you leave, come back and get all of it so that you have a buffer because you could still take soul heart damage. It doesn't affect your devil deal. And then you could get your devil deal and still be poggy. Here, I'm just blowing this stuff up because if it spawned a cellar, which a cellar is always uh, a hole with a ladder. If it doesn't have a ladder, it's going to take you to the next floor. And sellers can have Poggy stuff in it. I saw one streamer earlier today get fucking Tech X in there, which is Poggy. All right, let's go fight the boss. We get Ragman. So Ragman spawns these little spooter dudes. And he also shoots homing tears at you. So you want to keep your distance. And you want it. That's a homing tear. So what he does is he throws his head onto the ground like that. Careful of his body. It will shoot a homing tear out of it. If his, if his body stays out, or if that head stays rolling for a while, uh, it'll spawn into a spider. Any damage that you deal to the head will deal damage to Ragman, but it will also affect the HP of the spider that spawns. Another tip is, is that when you kill Ragman, this is new in Repentance, it will kill all of his spiders except the one that he's about to spawn. Uh, so it's if, if you see Ragman low on HP, but there's a lot of spiders around, pretty recommended to just take care of Ragman. It'll help you out and it'll, it'll clear out the rest of the room. Um... As well as if Ragman summons too many spiders and they're all dead on the floor, he'll stop summoning more and he'll walk around and try to resurrect them. And fuck, man, if there's like three dead bodies clumped right here, he'll res them all at the same time. And that's a fucking annoyance. Take care of Ragman. Keep your distance. Range is good against him. All right. So this is literally just an HP up and it also heals a heart. So if you have anything on the floor, like uh, if you, you hadn't gone into the cursed room yet, you could uh, go into the cursed room, get down one HP and then take that red heart HP up. And then it'll give you the, the the new heart. And that will also give you uh, uh, a thing up. But there's a lot of... Um, in the item pool. There's a, Or in the boss item pool. So obviously we're in the boss room here. If we reroll this, it'll be another boss item. In the boss item room pool, there's a lot of HP ups. I don't really mind getting an HP up. But I do have this magical thing up here. This ability to reroll. And if I reroll it and I just get another HP up, cool beans. But if I reroll it, and I get a damage up or a tears up, that could be Poggy. You got different items that can give you tears up and soul hearts, Mr. Squeezy, the Dolly. You could get uh, an HP up and a damage up and meat on the bone. There's a bunch of different things. So if you just have nothing left to do on the floor, uh, highly recommend rerolling this. Now, what we could do is we could peek inside of our secret room first. Uh, secret rooms are, are, are definitely an interesting thing to talk about. Something I get asked often from new players is Tristan how the fuck do I know where a secret room is going to spawn so let's get, do a little crash course in secret room so secret rooms one they like to spawn with a lot of rooms bordering them it's not going to be all the time but a lot of times there'll be three rooms bordering them and every single room will have a wall that is enterable right so you can see there the secret room could spawn there and the secret room could spawn here right and so that gives you an indication that a secret room could spawn there. Uh, is is There will be nothing obstructing the walls. And here's a big one. Enemies won't spawn there. If an enemy spawns right here, you know that there's not a secret room there. You know 100% that there is not a secret room there. Now, super secret rooms, super secret rooms tend to spawn near bosses. But not always, but they tend to spawn near bosses because of the fact that they're like a boss room. So boss rooms will only spawn if there's no other rooms touching them. You notice that um, obviously there's, you know, the downpour rooms and stuff, but those spawn because of the boss rooms. But there's not a room here. There's not a room there. There's not a room there spawned on the map that you can get to, right? So secret room, super secret rooms are very similar. And so by that nature, they like to spawn near the bosses. So I would say that that's a candidate to be a secret room and that's a candidate to be a super secret. Could also be down here. Little bit tougher to find on this map, but you know it can't be here because this counts as an obstruction. And there, even if there uh, wasn't the TNT and the rocks there, but this would count as an obstruction. You need to be able to get to the wall without taking damage for there to be 
a secret room there. Same here. Those pots are right in the perfect spot. You know that there's not a super secret there. So I say to check the secret room because there are the secret room item pool. Although they don't spawn often, the secret room item pools are fucking insanely good. There's a lot of really good secret room item pools. And there's also some bad ones. But that's why we got the D6. So I'm going to check because I know that the secret room's here. And we're going to see. There's pretty much nothing in here. Uh, you could, if you had more bombs, blow up some of these mushrooms. And if you do, uh, they have a chance to spawn pills. They have a chance to spawn the Liberty Cap Trinket, which is a pretty good trinket if you have none. Um, and also, they have a chance to spawn mushroom items, including Magic Mush, which is one of the best items in the game. So if you have an excess amount of bombs, blow up some mushies. It's pretty good. All right. So we've pretty much expended all that we can do on this floor. Nothing really left to do. No more bombs, no more anything. Can't buy that soul heart in the shop. Going to go reroll this real quick. Into another HP up. Literally does the exact same thing. One red heart container heals one HP. Cool. Funky. Will you ever have enough money to buy items from the shop? Oh, for sure. You could get a dime that spawns from opening up a random gray chest or from finishing a floor. Uh, so uh, in inside of every shop, not only... So like if you got a bomb, you could blow up three of these pots. Those tend to spawn money um, or enemy spiders. So be careful. But also remember clearing your poops. You can get some money from it. But also, blowing up this Keeper guy. If you had one bomb, you place it right here. Get a little money from your Dono machine. Plus, these Keepers uh, oftentimes will have money under them. A nickel, two cents, or some more spiders. Will the D6 reroll shop items? Yep. Yeah, it will reroll shop items that you haven't bought yet as well. If you're really in the need of something. Yeah. But it's only items. Only, only the item pedestals. You will still have to pay for them, though. But, but uh, uh, there, there's some scenarios. If for whatever reason... Like you had a Pandora's box or something and you opened up Pandora's box in the shop and it gave you two boss items. If you re-roll them, they'd re-roll into shop items. They wouldn't cost money, but they'd re-roll into shop items. Let's go down to the next. YouTube, boys, girls, and bees. It's me, the editor, Andrew. Hi. Thank you so much for watching the video. It's a very, very long one today. I hope you are enjoying it so far. These videos usually do very well on YouTube and interacting with it in any way, liking, commenting, and subscribing will make it do even better. So if you want to interact in some way, you will be making uh, this video more susceptible to the YouTube algorithm, which I would greatly, greatly appreciate. Frost isn't here today because I wanted to give a very specific warning. This is a min-max Isaac run, which if you don't know what that means, means by the end of it, we're gonna have some crazy tear effects, we're gonna have flashing lights, so photosensitive viewers may want to stay clear of this one. I don't know for 100% certain, I have made mistakes in the past where I did something that was offensive to photosensitive viewers, so I'm just erring on the side of caution now. Uh, this might not be the run for you to watch. But, uh, anyone else who is watching it, I hope you enjoy it greatly. Please enjoy the video. Liking, commenting, subscribing. Super helpful. That's all. I'll- there's- the video's long enough, I'll take out less of your time. Enjoy the video. What is left of the boss room? That is a- that is for an alternate path. Which, we don't need to talk about today. That's for an alternate route. Alright, back on the floor, we got another cursed room. We got the boss challenge room, which the boss challenge room requires you to only have- one heart of HP to enter into. So all these red hearts, if you had more soul hearts, they need to go. And then you can go in. And boss trap rooms will always have an item pedestal, boss item, boss item pedestal, sitting in the center of it uh, that is available for, for take. And if you take it, you have to fight dose bosses. So you get the item first, and then you fight the bosses versus beating the boss traditionally and then getting an item. Um, so. Anyways, let's go in the curse room once again. We got two more chests. We get double spooties. And we get, please don't, please don't do this to me. So we are on Curse of the Blind. <laughs> we are on Curse of the Blind, which means we don't see our items. Remember that black candle thing that we talked about on the last floor? This would prevent us from getting Curse of the Blind. So this item could be another guppy piece, or this item could be something called Cursed Eye, which Cursed Eye makes your charges, uh, or your, 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 your tears, instead of shooting them, you have to charge them up. And then once you're done charging them up, they'll shoot out like like six tiers at once or something like that. But if you take damage while charging, you will be teleported out of the room to another random room. And if you go back to that original room, it'll restart. So it's a little bit annoying of an item to have. So I don't know if I'm going to take this because it's not intelligent to take. You could also get Curse of the Tower, which is anytime you take damage, spawn six uh, troll bombs on the floor. You can also get Blood Puppy. Um, but yeah, I am probably going to leave this for now. We may take it later. 
but for now uh for now we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take a take a moment we did notice that when we left and came back into these rooms uh we did lose our purity and now we have the speed up so we're moving really fast which i don't necessarily mind all that much actually i probably should have left those hearts on the floor Remember, don't take any red heart HP here. We really, really, really want to avoid red heart damage right now. These enemies are a pain in my fucking ass. But we really want to uh, avoid taking damage. Um, you can use the cursed rooms and it doesn't affect your devil deal, as you can see. Any sort of damage that's intentional usually doesn't hurt your ability to get a devil deal. So uh, going into cursed rooms, using uh, like, like a temperance machine or a blood bag. But fuck me. Is this guy an annoying fucking enemy to get? Because he just spawns so many spooters and then doesn't freaking die. So these enemies right here, one, they don't deal damage to you. You can get right on top of them. But unless they are fully, fully sized, um, unless they are fully sized, they won't spawn anything. So if you got multiple in the room and you can just juggle them to keep them down, pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. Okay, a little bit of a pickle back here, not liking where I am. But we got the speed to deal with it. All you really want to focus on, breaking up those guys. Little dingles, not that big of an, uh, a deal. Needed to pay attention to that poop up there that's got a fly spinning around it. Because that fly does deal damage to you. Floor spikes hurt devil deals? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Pay attention to poop. You're learning. Good job, champ. Alright, I know there's still an enemy in here. But I'm just going to roll around and pick up some shit. Because I'm too lazy. Oh, we got a trinket. So this is Petrified Poop. Every single time you clear a poop, I think it has a 10% chance of spawning or something like that. Uh, petrified Poop just increases the chances that poops will drop things. So, makes clearing poops even better. I feel like I find Petrified Poop all the fucking time. Because I clear the goddamn poops, man. Poop equal important. Yeah, both in life and, you know, just in general. All right. So we came across a temperance machine. This thing, if you hit it, will take a half a heart. Red hearts first. Even if you have soul hearts, it'll prioritize your red hearts. It's okay to touch. Doesn't hurt your devil deal. And it also will give you at least one coin every single time. Um, it has a 1 in 15 chance every single time you touch. It doesn't matter your luck. To spawn out, uh, to blow up and spawn... Uh-oh, one second. We got the damage up right now from our purities. That's insane. We can use the temperance machine if we get a bad aura to come back in and, and get a better one. But, um, yeah, so uh, the... There's a 1 in 15 chance to blow up and spawn either IV bag, which is basically just a portable temperance machine, or give you a blood bag, which is a great HP up and also a massive movement speed up. So it's awesome. All right, we still are on Curse of the Blind, but I wanted to come in here for this bad boy right here so that we can play a little bit more recklessly and not worry too much about taking a whole heck of a lot of damage. Don't want to hit the blood bag a whole lot right now because I like my purity bonus. And I don't plan on taking any more damage. Always should be your plan. Peepo G's in chat. Um... All right, let's go peek what's in our item room. Now, we do have a blind item, so we're obviously just going to pick it up. Our D6 is really hindered by the blind item, unless you find a space bar item. So now we know that that's a space bar item. We can reroll that at our whim. Um, the, you don't really get space bar items from, uh, uh, what do you call it? From devil deals, or, or not from devil deals, um, from, uh, don't really get space bar items from boss, boss pool. And we'll explain why, but I think right now it's really good to actually reroll this. Boss rooms don't give don't give space bar items, so the likelihood that we'll be able to reroll the the boss item after seeing it is extremely low. So right now in this particular case, it's okay to press your space bar, and we get bloodshot eye. So we just have an orbital that spins around us and he shoots with us, and he's pretty cool. Orbitals are great; they block stuff and things. See that little red tear coming from him. Uh, so yeah, we've got a good purity bonus. I'm just gonna go ahead and fight the boss. F it. It is Pin. He spawned a little familiar. We took care of him. Pin's gonna jump out of the ground. Do a bunch of damage. Just kind of want to just keep moving against Pin. He's gonna jump right at you as soon as he uh, is done doing that shit. And we're just gonna go ahead and take this boss item. We get a tears up and a shot speed up. Fantastic. I could go look in the devil deal. Here's the thing though. The devil deal's gonna be blind. We don't want to take blind items. You could get like a, a shitty familiar or something. So we're not going to go in the devil deal. Even though we have one guppy piece and guppy is in the devil deal. Instead, we're going to not even go in. If you don't go in at all, you don't even go in the devil deal. You uh, you will get um, 
uh, the next time that you get a deal is guaranteed to be an angel deal. Only off of the first floor. If you go in, it'll give you a 50-50 of whether you're going to get a devil or an angel. But if you just say no and say, heck, Satan, you guarantee to get an angel deal, which doesn't cost hearts and, you know, all that sort of stuff. So, yeah. Poggy. I would recommend a lot of the times just going for angel deals unless you get, unless you're, if this wasn't Curse of the Blind, I would have peaked because of us having one out of three at Guppy and Guppy's one of the best transformations in the game. Again, it gives you flying and a great chance to spawn a fly anytime you take damage or anytime you shoot it, hit a tier, sorry. Anytime you hit a tier. Um, so yeah, we don't have any bombs. So we can't get into our secret room, which I imagine would be here or let me peek real quick. Could be here. Let me look. Just trying to spot it out. So yeah, that could be the secret room. And could this be the secret room? Yeah, so it could be here, or it could be uh, on your way to the shop. But we're not gonna we're not gonna do it. So we do have the item that's in the cursed room that we can take still. Uh, we don't know what it is. What I think we should do first is I say. Mm, we could go to the boss challenge room, right? So if we took use this blood machine and we went to the boss challenge room, but it would be a curse of the blind item and it could be something really good or it could be something really shit. So here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this blood bag and I'm going to go all the way down to zero because you can see I lost my purity bonus here. I'm going to go all the way down to zero red hearts. So I have exactly... I was going to go down to zero. So I had exactly one heart, and then I was going to exit the room. And if I got a good purity bonus, which this isn't really that good of one, I was going to uh, go in there. If this is IV bag, though, we can still do it. It is <laughs> not IV bag. <laughs> it's not <laughs> not IV bag chat. <laughs> All right. Do we want that item in the cursed, the cursed room? I think if you are playing as smart as possible, I think you don't take that item. Because it could be something bad that's going to really hurt your ability to win the run. I know that everyone in chat right now is spamming take the item. I'm the king of Zane. I do that shit all the time. I'm always down to fuck around and take a, take a shitty item and take the chance. But this isn't about getting the most zany YouTube run. This is about teaching you the smartest things to do, the best things to do. So, in turn, I'm not going to take it. We've gotten pretty much everything out of this short floor. We could buy the bomb in the shop. But it's a 50-50 on where the uh, where the secret room is. So we're not going to take it. We can get a bomb off of the next floor. We're chilling. We're being a smart cookie today, chat. Notice the glasses. Notice the suit. We're being smart about it. We did get a great blood bag, though. We are happy about the blood bag. Anytime you get a blood bag, you say Poggy. Don't get tempted by Satan. All right, let's go down. If you're going for some Zane, if you're going to have the most fun possible, go take that item. Have a good time. I would have done it if this was just a standard YouTube run. Hey, I took damage. That's not very good. This room is very complicated. A lot of times in rooms like this where these enemies explode into tears, uh, not firing is pretty good so that you can get around them, get to a safe distance, and then start taking more shots at them. So don't be afraid to not shoot for a minute. You don't always have to be shooting at the enemies that are right in front of you. All right. Thanks for thinking about us. Oh, this room's a clusterfuck, ain't it? Well, we got the damage up. Uh, those mushrooms, when they are closed up, when they're when they're inside their little cummy cave, they don't take a whole lot of damage. But when they open up, they take a butt, butt ton of damage. So that's your time to attack. That's your time to strike. Because whenever they open up, that's when I'd start shooting at them if you're at a safe position to do so. Oof. That's the blood bag movement speed right there. Helping us out. Allowing us to keep our great uh, D up from the purity. Purity's a great item if you're good at not taking damage. Which I like to think that I am. There's the boss room. Let's just go fucking do it. Actually, no. Reject boss. And I'll tell you why. So right now we have a 33% chance of getting an angel deal. Every floor you complete, it'll go up and up until 100%. But... It, there's specific things that you can do in order to increase the chances of you getting a deal. The easiest one to remember is if you see a, a keeper statue in a secret room or in a shop, blow them up. You get one per floor. If you blow them up, it gives you a slight better chance of getting a deal. Don't know why they added that in, but it is. Please, needlers. I hate needlers, by the way. If you take anything away from my class, 
learned that needlers are the worst enemy ever designed in the game. Um, so this right here is a item trap room, not a boss trap room. You can tell by not being a big scully guy on the top. You come in here and you can see what it's gonna be. If you open that chest, it's gonna spawn three waves of bosses. Or three waves of, of enemies, excuse me, not bosses. It's two waves of bosses in a boss challenger, three waves of enemies in an in a, in a item or in a, a mob trap room. And the only rec requirement to get in here is I think full red heart HP. It could be wrong on that though. But you just need some you need you, you need HP versus not needing HP. Alright, here comes our item room. Are we on Curse of the Blind again? We are not. This chest right here requires a bomb to blow up. Not gonna do it just quite yet. Uh, it could have more bombs in it. Um, but we really want to save our bomb for... Uh, we really want to save our bomb... You can see the petrified poop paying us out. Save our single bomb for the guaranteed uh, angel deal increase. -ticity. So infestation 2 is a great item. It spawns spiders whenever you kill an enemy. Here's the thing though. It, 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 it only spawns it when you kill an enemy with your own tears. If you have a bunch of spiders and your spiders kill the enemies, you might be like, dude, why am I not getting stuff? Why am I not getting the things? That's why. Also, if you see a bomb that you can blow up and get a bomb, do it. Just because it might spawn a cellar under those rocks. Talked about cellars before. They can be under any rock in the, in, in the floor. You never know. These battery guys, sometimes, man, they'll get you. It's okay if you take a little bit a hit from them again. They won't deal damage to you. Use our second key. Go in here. So this is a, actually a really good spot for us. Um, so again, we're going to use our one bomb. I I always do this. Is Even if I'm just bombing for the keeper chance, I'm always going to bomb and hit the dono machine just for a little extra cash. I'm just going to do it. It's, it's what I do. So we get uh, an extra couple of cents. This right here is sharp key. It gives you a new space bar item that throws keys. Not the best space bar item, but... Normally in the shop, a key costs five cents. And this item right here says, gives you five keys. So even if it's not for seven cents, like it is half off here, which is a random chance, it's 15 cents for five keys. It's great. And then what we can do is we can take it. Now we get plus five keys. Now we can press space bar. And now we get a book touch, which just like the guppy where you need to get three guppy items in order to turn into guppy. All you need to do is touch the items. Um, if you re-roll your build, it will take it away. But if you like the space bar items like Guppy's Head, Guppy's Paw, you, you just need to touch them. So this book right here, if you touch three books, it gives you what's called the Bookworm Transformation, which gives you a chance of shooting two tiers at once. It's great. It's awesome. Um, so yeah, and then I'm probably going to, now that we've blown up that guy, I'm gonna since we're really low on Soul Heart HP, I'm going to take this full charge, and then I'm going to go fight the boss and play really, really smart to hopefully not take any red heart damage so that we can have the greatest chance of getting that guaranteed angel deal. Yeah, touching books is good. Reading them, cringe as fuck. Can I get a one in chat if you agree? This is from a professor, by the way. I have a PhD. Anyways, let us go. We get Chubb. Chubb's an interesting boss. We can't utilize a mechanic. So all of these enemies, there's a lot of enemies in the game that will run at you with their mouth open. If they're large as fuck, like Big Chubb, uh, if you put a bomb down in their path, they'll actually get, they'll eat the bomb and they'll get stunned by it and take the full damage while inside the tummy. So it's a pretty good thing if you get like a little overwhelmed on the boss fight or your damage is a little weak to use bombs in that scenario. We don't get the uh, the angel deal, but next floor it'll be an increased chance we'll get more. Uh, we do get a really, really good uh, boss item that I actually kind of like. It's called Marbles. It spawns three trinkets on the ground. Uh, and those three trinkets, uh, you get to pick one of them. But randomly upon taking damage, I think it's, is it a 20% chance uh, to swallow your trinket? It might be 10%. But you get a chance to swallow your trinket, which means it becomes a part of your item pool. And uh, once it's a part of your item pool, it's permanent. So you don't have to hold the trinket anymore. So if we swallowed petrified poop, then we can pick up another trinket and utilize that and also have the benefits of the petrified poop. It's pretty good. Highly recommend. Freaking needlers, man. Freaking needlers, bro! All right, so the host's right there. They only are available to take damage when they open up their mouths, when they open up to shoot at you. Um, and you gotta just sit in front of them and not shoot tears in order to make them shoot at you. The amount of fucking content creators that I just see just shooting tears at them because they're just, they're in la la land. So what I'm doing here is I was looking for something like this on the floor, something to justify taking marbles so that I can hopefully swallow my thing. Um, if I didn't find a way to have a good chance of swallowing things, I was actually gonna, uh, elect 
I was going to elect to uh, actually reroll the, 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 the thing, but yeah. So because we got that, I'm going to go and grab marbles. I'm going to see what trinkets spawn. Could be a pretty useless trinkets, but let's see what we get. We got a lot of red hearts on the floor, so we got a lot of things we can do here. Ooh, pretty good stuff. So I really like Rotten Penny. I'd very much like to swallow that. Anytime that you um, anytime that you pick up a coin, it's going to spawn a blue fly. It's going to spawn a fly. Flies and spiders. I think flies deal two times your damage and spiders deal three. They might have changed that in Repentance, but chat will correct me if I'm wrong. Just pay attention to them. Um, Cartridge, just chance for the Game Kit effect to happen when you get hit. Game Kit is just invincibility. You're basically like Pac-Man. All the enemies will run from you and you deal damage on hit. Um, and then this right here, panic button. If you had a different kind of space bar item, maybe it activates your space bar item upon taking damage. But this one really doesn't happen. So I'm going to pick up this rotten penny and then I'm going to go play the blood bank. Both are two times. They changed it in repentance. Okay. I remember spiders were a lot more valuable in, in pre-repentance. All right, let's play this blood bag machine. Did you hear that noise? Hey, Frost, Look in the chat. bottom left corner. Your Wednesday goes? Hey, shut up! Also we just, we swallowed our trinket. That normally will not happen on the first try. But yeah, that was supposed to be based on chance. Uh, but being the professor, I get, you know, um, increased swallowing percentage. Yeah, I'm just professing my luck. I'm still going to play this thing pretty uh, for pretty heavily. I know that we're losing our uh, our effect here. But look, we got another another blood bag. So we've done pretty much all we can on this floor. I'm going to... Was there a bomb in the shop? And I get a yes, no. I'm probably going to do the mob trap room. So I think first off, we go in here. Guppicity item. No guppy, just a couple of blue flies. No biggie. So we can go over here. We can pick up some hearts on the floor on the way. I don't think so in the shop. Okay. We'll take a peek in a second. What I am going to do is I think, one, we can go reroll the shop. But, oh, we need full red heart HP. Okay. Let me go get my full red heart HP real quick uh, from the boss because I know there's another heart in there. And then we're going to go fight the mob trap room. Because in case we take any damage, we can heal it back up by picking up that blood bag. And also, that mob trap room uh, has a chance. So, the golden chests and uh, stone chests, the ones that you can blow up, have a chance to spawn pretty good items. A lot of tears up items, HP up items. Um, a lot of boss room. It's, it's, it's like a, it's like a semi-boss room pool. So, yeah. It doesn't give us an item, but does give us some resources that are very cool. And we do like those. Infestation definitely going to carry us through here. Careful of Globins, by the way. Globins might not... So, there, there's different kinds of enemies in this game. Uh, there's normal enemies and there's champions. And there's super champions. But cha uh, normal enemies will deal a half heart of damage until, you know, the, the later floors where you get to take more damage. Um, but Globins are just annoying as fuck and they always do a full heart. So, fuck Globins. <laughs> Globins always be doing a full heart. Again, we could use this pill, but it could hurt us. It could help us. We're trying to play the smartest we can. You don't use you don't use pills a whole lot often. If you really need to scrape something out of your run, you could start taking pills. I do sometimes. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's give a, a fatty reroll to the shop. Ready? Five, four, three, two. Actually, I kind of like bloody recharge. So this right here, jumper cables, gives you plus one tick on your charge for every fifteen enemies that you kill, and yeah, that can help us charge up our our. Our space bar a little bit faster if we need to use it multiple times. So, yeah, I'm going to pick this up. And then I'm going to hit... Sp so, this is an item called Chaos. Remember all this talk that I've talked about about different item pools? This throws this shit out the fucking window. Where any item can spawn anywhere. I, personally... Personally, I think... Item pools go burr. Personally, I think the chaos is good. I have had very, very, very good. Um, it, I would say Afterbirth Plus. I hated, I hated chaos. It always gave you just bomb upgrades, bomb upgrades, bomb upgrades. There's so many in the game. But I think in Repentance, I just think there's so many good items in the game now that this is insane. Item you, I think here, here's, are cold frost. Here's, here's. Let me explain why I think that. Um, why I think chaos is a lot better in repentance because I think this is actually very interesting. I thought about this a lot. Is I think you see so many more items in repentance. Would you guys agree with me on that? Compared to Afterbirth Plus, you see so many more items. Just in general. Agreed. Okay. 
and that gives you a greater chance it's you're seeing about the same amount of like devil deal angel deal which are these very high value items but in terms of like seeing items from chests and seeing items from uh item rooms and and and, and you know wherever there's a thousand different places boss trap rooms yeah there's a thousand different places that i feel like we're always seeing items this gives you a, a like a, a better chance of seeing those premium items and that's my opinion you could talk to any other creator um and, and you wouldn't and 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 they might disagree with me and i think that's fine but i personally think this is good especially with the d6 so now when i reroll items they're going to continue to be chaos and we're going to have a really good chance if we find an item room early on a floor we can reroll them and then go and build up more charge with that bloody recharge um so yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna take chaos i could completely understand if you're not a fan of it we'll take the key we'll take the coin ouroboros worm is uh i'll show you what ouroboros worm does so you see my tears now those are my tears with this trinket I would say it's probably a no-go. We still, we're very much lacking um, bombs on this run. So we haven't been able to look for more secret rooms. But uh, don't forget to take your blood bag. Always hold tab. Make sure that you've gotten everything. You didn't leave anything behind. There's still that stone chest down there that we could have used the bomb on. But instead, we, we, we held off on the bomb to try to get an angel deal. I think that was a smarter play. Um, but yeah, so... Let us move along. I don't think there's anything, any more resources we can extract. Um, is there any cap on how many blood bags you can pick up? Nope. Blood bag is an item that will spawn multiple times. IV bag, I'm pretty sure, won't spawn multiple times if you see it and touch it. Um, but blood bag will continue to spawn. All right. I think, I think we're good. Only thing on the floor that I can see is trinkets that I don't want and pills. We don't have bombs. No way to get bombs. Here we go. I'm going to do a quick recap. If you're just showing up today, this is not how I normally play Isaac. Today is a very special day. I'm in my suit and I'm, I'm teaching people because I got a lot of people in my audience that always are asking very basic questions of Isaac. And so I feel like I would like them to have as much fun with the game as, as we do. Um, and and, and learn, learn the basics and, and get over those humps of what to do, what not to do. How to make the best runs. Because I feel like a lot of times when we first start, we do silly things that... You know, hurt ourselves, and then we get tilted because the runs aren't going as good as the, the streamer mans are. We finally got a bomb. Can I get a fucking pog in chat? All right, so these enemies over here, those those guys down there would spit goop at you. These guys over here spit very quick firing homing shots. So you got to be careful of those guys. That's a nice chest in the middle that we like there. Still got the massive tears up coming from our purity buff. We like that. If I can give a tip, if I can give a tip with a spear, sorry, I'm not Zinzao. Um, if I can give a tip when I, when learning the game, I would say above all else, never, ever, for any reason, ever, for whatever reason, I'm sorry, <laughs> but never, uh, never hold R. Don't hold R. Don't hold R. Thank you for subscribing. Um, Try to make the best out of every run. Trust Sometimes you're going to get a run that just you know is going to lose. But you're going to get better. You're going to get better radio. by... You're going to get better. Okay. I'm getting... There's a... This motherfucker. You motherfuckers. Thank you for paying tuition. Ace. See me after class. So yeah, if you hold R, it'll reset your run. You'll play as the same character. You'll start over. Um, I would recommend not holding R when you're first learning the game. Once you get into it, you're playing fucking Tainted Jacob and, and you walk in your first item room and it gives you Tiny Planet. Do what you gotta do, right? Do what you gotta do when, once you're a, a dedicated veteran to the game. But if you're trying to learn and get better because you suck balls because you're a brand new player, don't do that shit. Ace, thank you for the 100 fucking boners. All right, so our item rooms are gonna be better now. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so this is interesting. So right now in our hands, we have the D6, which if we press spacebar, we'll reroll the item into another random item based on the item pool. But right now we're in chaos, so it's any item in any pool. Spin down dice is like the D6, except when you take it, you'll notice this little thing over here when I get close to an item. It shows me what item it's going to reroll, and every item will always reroll into the same item. So with chaos, 
it's going to give us random items that are going to then re-roll into specific items that we'll know and we can play the best based off of that. So in turn, you can see that this is going to give us an item called Parasite, which basically when you fire tiers, it'll split off into a bunch of other tiers. I'm going to tell you right now, it's a really fucking good item. But we could use the D6 once. Hear me out here. We could wait on it. We could wait. So let's say we beat the boss. The boss gives us an item that we don't really want. And then we also pick up the spin down dice and we see that it's the reroll of the item isn't that good either, right? And so then we D6 and get a new item that we could then see with the spin down and then reroll that. So I'm gonna hold on to this for now. I'm gonna hold on to this spin down boy for now. Because we're not required to use it. We're not required to do anything right now. Um, we could get to that with the use of this key, a key and two bombs. And that also is a charge over there that we can keep in mind. Imagine getting school bag. I would come. <laughs> I would come immediately. So there are some enemies in the game that no matter what, whether you're in chaos or not, they'll always spawn the same ship. And I'm pretty sure Greed is one of them. Yeah. So he's always going to spawn things like this or like that uh we could spin this down though <laughs> into a battery item but i think we don't getting half price shop items because the shop items are going to be chaos which means they could be really really fucking good things we could also spin down twice because this vampire guy here uh give, heals you based off of enemies that you kill but also is a small damage up but i'm gonna take the steam sale i think steam sale here is amazing we could have waited till the end of the floor to do that and that actually might be a smarter idea um no! So I took red heart damage there just to show you what it's like to take red heart damage. You can see our angel deal went very far down. Uh, so don't do it. I was just doing that to show you. I was showing you what not to do. Can I get a peepo G if you're learning? Peepo G for learning. Pretty pog, dude. I love learning. So yeah, you see, as soon as you take red heart damage, it goes all the way down. We just haven't been seeing a whole lot of solis. It's not on us, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank you, Chad. Thank you. Thank you. So these guys, when they get close to you, will try to charge where they think you're going to go. So you kind of just got to keep moving. Keep schmoving against those guys. The green champion version of the snake is going to shoot tears directionally out of his head. So you just got to be careful of those. They'll do a full heart of damage because he is a champion. All right. I think we go and do the boss. Wait a second. One moment. We actually still can blow up a keeper in order to increase our angel chance. So we know the secret room is not going to be there because of that. It's not going to be there because of that gap. So I'm going to go out on here and I'm going to do a Gamba. Let me see. Could be down. It is not there. Okay. So I think then the secret room is going to be above this room up here next to the shop. I think it's going to be right here. It's a Gamba. Oh, wait. Could be right here. Owned. All right, so now we can blow up one of these keepers. You get more money. Blow up one of these keepers so that uh, if you come into a room that has multiple keepers in it, like a secret room, blow up the ones that have money in the eyes because those have a, a greater chance of spawning money. It might just be a conspiracy theory, but that's what I've heard from everyone who plays the game ever. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right. So we do need to realize here that... We don't have the availability, most likely, of maybe. We might be able to get a second full charge of our spin down. But there's a chance that we don't. Another keeper add won't, won't add more angel chance. I believe it won't, no. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Bumbino's a bullshit boss. If you take damage to Bumbino, you don't have to feel bad ever. Never feel bad for taking damage to Bumbino, because it's a, it's a load of shit. Yep, load of shit. Load of shit. Just a load of shit. That's that's big rule. And we get the... F <laughs> okay. We get the wafer, which is a great uh, great item. It reduces all damage that you take by half. So later on in the run, uh, you, you only can take half out of damage. Very fantastic item. Uh, it is funny, though, that if you spun it down enough, you could get back to the D6. I do think that's quite funny. Um, so yeah, we're going to take... We're 100% taking the wafer. Wafer's poggy. Wafer is extremely pog. Streamer luck. Cringe. 
All right, let's go re-roll. Let's go spin down our item room. Actually, we could still... I think it's worth now to spin down. I think it's worth now to spin down because there's not a whole guarantee on the floor that we're going to get... Um, we are going to get a uh, enough money in the future or enough charge in the future in order to get another full charge of this. It's not guaranteed if we complete the rest of the rooms. So I'm going to spin this down for now. And take the split shot. Fantastic item. Fantastic. Currently I have the range up, I believe, from the purity bonus. Might take damage in here on purpose. We do have a sack room, which gets really interesting. We are definitely going to play the fuck out of this. Okay. So this is what's called a sacrifice room. You can see based on the external item description mod, what is going to happen every single time that you press it. We press it here, we're going to have a 50% chance for one coin. The reason why you can get this bomb here is because if you're playing, trying to unlock the Forgotten, which is a complicated process, you can still guarantee that you're going to get a bomb even if there's not one that spawns on the floor randomly. Anyways. Here we go. Every single... Remember that we have the wafer, by the way. Remember that we have the wafer. Therefore, this only is going to cost us half a heart every single time that we hit it. Normally, this is a full heart of damage. So keep that in mind. Um... But yeah, it's only going to cost us half heart. This one is, again, one bomb. Or one 50% chance for a coin. This is going to increase our chances for an angel deal. This is if you did this room before you fight your boss. Uh, it would say you are blessed and you'd see the angel room chance go up. 50% chance for a random chest. Also, by the way, the reason why I'm standing up here is because if anything were to happen and I were to hit it from here, things spawn right here where I'm standing. And so if an item pedestal spawns, I can't get out without picking up that item pedestal or taking damage. Whether, like, if I didn't want the item because of chaos, I can't leave without taking more damage. So always be hitting it from over here when you get this weird room, like, this is kind of like a cross. All right, this one gives you more angel room chance or three coins. There's our blessed, but it doesn't do anything because we've already beaten the boss. This one gives you a 33% chance to teleport to the angel room or the devil room, whichever you would get. We would get an angel room because of our, 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 uh, our, our guaranteed angel chance. Or 67% chance for a random chest. You're going to get one thing here. We get teleported. And we still get an angel item, which, awesome. <laughs> now, uh, our goal, we said this run, is to get to Mega Satan. So in order to get to Mega Satan, you either need to uh, get an item like Dad's Key or various items that can open random doors. Or you need to kill two angels and take their keys from them. They give you half a key piece. All you got to do is put down a bomb. You get one of two angels. This is the harder version of the angels for sure. This guy's a piece of shit. You can tell what kind of attacks he's going to do. If he does that, where he just kind of flaps his wings and stands still, he's going to do an X. Or, or sorry, a cross. He's going to do a cross. So you can see me juking accordingly every time he does that. If he sucks his wings in, like he's going to do a big charge, he could summon, he could shoot a bunch of tears at you, or he could do that that angel brimstone, but in an, in an X. That's going to be a cross. He can deal damage to his own enemies, by the way. So if you can lead him into the path, that could have been a cross. I could have taken damage. Or an X there. I could have taken damage there. Pay attention to him while still trying to take care of his ad. There's the tears. Taking damage. Not a big deal. God. He loves doing that shit, huh? He loves doing that cross. Almost juked into the into the X. I hate it when he spawns guys, though. Spawning guys? Pretty cringe. Alright. And he always gives you a key piece. Chaos doesn't affect that. Nothing you do in the game can uh, can reroll lore pieces unless you reroll it while it's still an item pedestal, which it can reroll into things. Obviously, we don't have the, the the capability of doing that. All right, so we've got a bunch of shit. Let us continue with our hitting. This next hit, which is hit seven of twelve, um, will either give you a soul heart or it'll give you one random item pedestal. Again, remember how I said don't stand down there because even that soul heart is going to spawn down there. And if you wanted to keep playing it. Uh, you, you would have to be forced to pick up that soul heart and utilize it, which we don't want to do. So let's do that. It swallowed our trinket. Are there any other trinkets on the floor? Let's take a quick peek. Do not believe so. We could go find one real quick. Go complete the floor and maybe find another good trinket. The next one is going to be... The next hit that we do is going to be a bunch of troll bombs that spawn in the room. I'll give you a little tip for that when we get there. One way to remember the angel beams yeah. is that angel is kind of like angle. That... No, I didn't mean to pick that up. That was a really rare chance for that uh, soul heart to spawn from that poop, and I 
didn't mean to pick it up, but we would like to go in the cursed room. Again, we are. We do have one guppy item. So let's go into the cursed room, see if there's anything poggy in here. Nothing poggy, just a bunch of spooties. It's gonna spawn more spooties for us. Thank you for the weed. Greetings, good sir. Thank we you. do be teaching newbies here, huh? Yeah. I'm down. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, there, it, it's kind of a mistake that we um, got hit. Or we, uh, we we picked up that soul heart because now we don't have it. Um, so here comes the really big payout from the angel room. So here's here's a big tip. So uh, this room isn't going to be very good for it. But when you, when you press this and it starts spawning those seven troll bombs, if you leave the room, it will stop spawning any more bombs. So if you leave and it only spawned two, there will be two when you come back. No more will spawn. So it's really good to hit it and then try to get out as fast as possible. But you can see I suck balls at it. Um, we accidentally got the soul heart as well because the bomb pushed it to the door. This is going to give you a 100% chance to spawn Uriel, which is the easier angel to fight. Uh, and you can fight him and get the second key piece. Or when you touch this, because the next hit after Uriel is the really important one that you always want to try to get to if you have the HP for it, um, is this door will stay open. So if you don't want to fight the angel, you can leave. The angel cannot fight you without your consent. So let's, uh, let's say... Wakey, wakey. We do want to fight Uriel. Um, so issue with Uriel, the only issue with Uriel, is when he stops to do the brimstone, he's always going to be flapping. But you don't know what brimstone he's going to do. He could do the one right in front of him. Or he could do, uh, he could do like a line in front of him. Or he could do the, the two lines like I got hit by. Um, anytime that he does the suck in, he's always going to do a wave of tears coming at you. So just get some distance or juke around him. But you can't tell which kind of brimstone you're doing. But it's always going to be in front of him. So just... Don't be in front of him, forehead. All right, we get the second key piece. Now the Mega Satan door will over will, will open 100% when we get there. All right, now the the next hit is the important hit. This is either going to give you a bunch of money or seven soul hearts. I don't really care which one it gives us. I'm feeling good. Hep. We get all the soul hearts. Let's go. The next one will fight. You'll, you would fight Angel Gabriel. Um, since we've already gotten both of the key pieces, he won't spawn another key piece. People in chat right now are saying, spin down the key piece, spin down the key piece. We could have, um, I don't know it's whether or not we could have not picked up the key piece. We may have been able to do that. Where you don't pick up the key piece that Uriel spawns, fight the other guy. He also spawns one. You pick up one and reroll the other. That might have been possible. Uh, if it is, I'm an idiot. If it isn't, lig my balls. But either way, um... Let's just pick up all our hearts on the floor and, and and head on down. Once you've beaten both of the angels, they won't spawn anything else unless you get something like Filgree Feather, which Filgree Feather is a trinket that will make angels spawn items instead of spawning... Um, in, instead of spawning keys. So, we're chilling, man. All right. No reason, no charge on the spin down. I think we're almost to killing enough enemies to get a full charge. All right. We got a lot out of that floor. We're only an hour into the run. We got this, boys. Second secret room by the boss. Chad, someone tell Hannah, teach her about bombs, please. She doesn't appear to know what bombs are. All right, we are on Curse of the Unknown, which means we don't get to see how much HP that we have. Um, but we know that we have full HP. We're pretty much full. We could use some Red Heart, but we got a bunch of Solis. So when you do a mob trap room that has multiple Red Chests, do not open them all at the same time. Don't open them all at the same time. Because red chests like to spawn spiders. They like to spawn troll bombs. And if you open them all and they all give you troll bombs, all of the enemies in the room from the mob trap room are going to spawn at the same time. And then you're going to have to deal with all of them. So if you just open up one, you open up one because we're looking for, you know, we're looking for item pedestals. We're looking for whatever. If you open up one of them, then you can go through the entire three waves of enemies and then open up the other ones. And you won't have to go through more enemies. See? Boombas. And the bombs might help you out just a little bit if you're not completely overwhelmed by them. Spin down. We were two enemies off of getting a spin down charge, by the way. So the angel wouldn't have given it to us. That's actually fucking interesting as hell. That if we had fought the angel, we wouldn't have gotten the spin down full charge. But we needed one more enemy. Interesting. Let's open our chest. And fill up our red heart. We got a lucky penny, which... Lucky pennies will always shine green on the floor, and you'll know that it's a lucky penny. Uh, I won't know that it's a lucky penny, though, and Chad always has to tell me because I'm colorblind. Empty heart. When you have an empty heart container at the next floor, at the start of the next floor, uh, grants another one. Not really that good of an item when we have as much HP as we currently have, uh, so I would like to spin it down. This item right here, the one that it's going to spin down into, is actually a really good item 
if you didn't have uh if you didn't have the key pieces because that literally states that when you take damage in a room it will open up all doors or secrets or anything like that and you can use that to open up we're actually going to spin into it um it can open up the the mega Saiyan door it can open it up uh, but i would like to continue to spin it down i don't remember what the chain does but I'm, i know the other one's redemption and then you can keep spinning it down into better stuff but yeah we got some pretty good shit to spin down into at the moment I tried to spawn a, a fly right on top of my face. But hey, there's a benefit of not knowing what the item's going to spawn four months into. With God Game we can see it with seven. the external item description mod. Jet, thank you for the four months. It's spirit shackles. I, it doesn't mean I know what it does. <laughs> I know what the name is now, though. Chat, uh, uh, YouTube, YouTube listeners listening at home. It's called spirit shackles. <laughs> Someone in chat said, always open the red chest last. They may teleport to the Devil Angel deal. So if you open the chest, you'll redo the challenge room, even if the enemies go back in the room. I disagree with you because I like when they spawn bombs and they help me kill the enemies. I, I like doing that. I don't mind coming back and doing the room again. Because I might decide that I don't want to do the room again because I've already been teleported to the Angel deal and it's not worth it anymore. If you die, you turn into the loss for a second chance. Oh, okay, okay. So we don't we don't give a fuck about that. All right, soul Shackles, not going to be the item that we want. All right, get good at kiting Globins. I'll give you that as a tip. Globins are a piece of shit. It takes a little bit of time to get naturally good at, at kiting them. It, I'll make it look hella easy, but I guarantee you it's not. Open sesame. Soul of Isaac. That's a good fucking item. <laughs> so Soul of Isaac is, is basically the tainted version of Isaac. Is all item pedestals rotate between two different items. Soul of Isaac just makes an item pedestal start rotating. Um, we know that we're at full soul hearts right now. I don't mind going into the curse room at the moment. And it gives us a black heart to refill our ship. All good, all good. Let's go back up to the boss trap or the mob trap room. And uh, let's just go ahead and, and hit the spin down on this. Because I would. I, isn't redemption really good, chat? Chat, remind me what redemption does. You enter a devil room and take anything, you get a permanent damage upgrade. Oh. So redemption's really fucking good. Then. Oh, it'll give you a damage up if you don't take anything. Oh, interesting. Interesting. We do still have the 100% chance to deal with the angel because we got teleported the last one, so it doesn't take us uh, take it away. But I'm still going to reroll down to redemption because we, right now we got to use our charges for things. Yeah, this one is just not that good of an item. Again, we have a lot of HP, so it's not going to be that poggy. It can be a good item if you're playing a, a character with a lot with very little HP. But this is an item. This is a, this is a room I got to focus in. Focus. Settle. Shuck my balls. Back to the game. Focus! Don't take me out of this! Don't take me out of this! Hey, we get a little half solely. We know that we've lost half a soul heart because we used half a heart to go into the curse room, picked up a soul heart, which put us back at full HP, and then took half a heart to come out. So that will just go ahead and just fill us back up to exactly full. Petrified poop still paying out entirely too well after we swallowed it. I would like another trinket eventually for sure. I didn't even see that that fly. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if like I just can't. I can't see actually. I'm. I'm. Yeah. It's vision impaired. Let's see what we got in here. Woo! 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 And this is chaos, baby. This is a devil deal item right here. That's a devil item, baby. As a as a good damage up, a good tears up, it gives you two black cards. So we're not gonna take it yet. Because we would like to, maybe if we, like, you know, want to go into a room and, and use, like, uh, another sacrifice room, we could use that. Um, you could also reroll that into the mark, which is a damage and speed up. But we're at 1.9 speed currently, so I don't think we need that. Um, yeah, I don't mind a little bit more tears. Do not mind. I do not mind. We do have a full charge, though, so I'd like to go get my redemption. I, I would like that. I believe redemption also gives you a soul heart, so, Yeah. Yeah. Grants one soul heart. Upon entering a devil room and not taking an item, gets a one damage up. Dope. Doesn't that also give you the chance of getting angel rooms again? Or am I is that a different item that I'm thinking of? Alright, we're chilling. That is act of contrition. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Choom, choom. Yeah, I would like to see if there's another like self-sacrifice room on this floor or if we like you know do genuinely take damage because i'm not a perfect gamer like that hey 
And there's another soul heart. We got lots of HP on the floor. Can I get a uh, sacrifice room mod check in chat, please? It's almost like he does this shit for content. So yeah, uh, Curse of the Unknown can be very scary as long as you are not paying attention to how much HP you have just relatively. And it's very easy to know when you're going from floor to floor and you're just at full HP. Really? Okay, so we currently are at one and a half away from full HP. So I'm going to go back and pick up the... Uh, go ahead and pick up the redemption now since we know that we're able to take a full heart. Since we took damage from a champion. Sweet. Oh yeah, I had the wafer. So yeah, we are at exactly full art. You are right. You are. Right. You are right. All right, let's uh, let's go find the shop. We'd like to find the shop first, so we can once again. Oh no, we don't need to increase our angel deal because we're at 100%. We could just go do the boss. Is this this is depths one, so this is not mama fight. And we get missing page number two. Which, if we spin down, <laughs> spins down into a pretty good item, I would say. Uh, we could also spin it down into Black Candle. But it, we're just going to go ahead and spin this down already. Actually, let's go do the boss fight first and just see what we get. Because maybe something spins down into something way cooler. Right now, we're, 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 running on, we're running at maximum pog right now. Maximum pog. Currently, chat, I'm at maximum pog. Okay, yeah. I don't know which one is the one I want to fire at anymore, but it seems like it's not this one. Seems like I did the absolute... Hardest possible way of doing this boss fight. Golden teleporter. Interesting item. Uh, this is pretty good. This is a tears up and allows you to fire on the diagonal. So instead of just being able to fire uh, like this, you can fire up and down. I'm down to take a small tears up. Doesn't reroll into anything super poggy. Yeah, let's go ahead and take it. And again, we can't get anything more from the angel, but there was a bomb that spawned back there. Small tears up. Chilling on a small tears up. Uh, so teleport is interesting. Uh, we could use it here to get some of the secret rooms but i think we this is probably where we're gonna use our soul of isaac which is gonna show us another item but i am gonna go spin down real quick fruitcake nah i don't think fruitcake is better than uh 0.5 damage up and damage dealt the longer the tier stays airborne um or decreases the longer but if you're really close to things it deals a mega amount of damage so <laughs> So now this item just requires us to get close. Get up close and personal. And then, uh, yeah. I don't think there's a way for us to get two more full charges to get down to Succubus. So we'll go ahead and Soul of Isaac. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, those items were so bad. <laughs> All right, let's go grab the Pact before we leave. Gives us a good tears up. Look at how fast we're firing tears now with the, the purity tier bonus. I'm going to go ahead and just touch this. 99% sure we were above the, the, the mark there. Let's see if we can't find the secret room real quick. Secret room can't be there because there were these poops that spawned here that blocked it and there were enemies over there. Um, secret room could be here. Could be there. And yeah, let's let's try for here. It's a pretty good spot. Nice. We get super greed, which getting super greed is actually really good. Because once you fight both Greed and Ultra Greed, or Super Greed, you can't get them again. So your shops are now permanently safe for the rest of the run. Let's go. Very nice. Now we can go pick up that half soul heart. What is breaking the tier cap? Purity. Purity is breaking the tier cap. Yeah, so normally your your tiers can only five, fire five per second. But purity, uh, there's items in the game that allow you to get over the tier cap. Purity is one of those. Skulls can drop various cards, black hearts. They can spawn enemies. Blowing up skulls can be pretty good. Yeah, I think we're uh, pretty good to go. Don't ever take... Uh, wait, Magneto? Oh, Magneto is not the bad one. We could take Magneto. I thought that was Strange Attractor that makes enemies attracted to you. Uh, but yeah, so this this is... Uh, 
yeah this is a decent item it can draw items that are over spikes or whatever to you so yeah i'll, I'll go ahead and take magneto it's perfectly fine and things get sucked to me now all right let's go i didn't know that about the greeds yeah so if you find greed let's say on one floor you find greed you have an increased chance of finding super greed, right? There's like a, a strong chance. I mean, obviously you can't find super greed until you find greed, but there's a really good chance that you're going to find the other one. Um, so what I would recommend is always go into your, your secret rooms first to see if he spawns, because if not, be ready for him to be in the shop. Um, so these are three different beggars. Both of these will spawn uh, flies and also a fly item eventually. This guy will give us charge. We like this guy. It allows us to spin down a million times. So when we see items, we can spin down a hundred billion times. That's nice. Also, we can see our HP now and see how fucking pog it is. So yeah, let's just go ahead and just start fighting through the rooms. This room's going to spawn a bunch of pins that will kill relatively easily with our mega tears as they jump at us. All right, let's uh, Curse of the Blind. A little bit annoying, but as you get better at this game, you play more hours, you'll just learn. You'll learn the map naturally over time. How do you get that door to spawn on the floor? Uh, you just have to unlock the availability of true ending. I think you have to beat Uber Mom first. Yeah, that door is, again, for a different ending. We're not going for it right now. To learn the basics of the game, you don't really need to know a whole lot about that door. Chest, come. Ah. Fuck! <laughs> I thought that chest was supposed to come to me. Chad, it didn't want to come to me. All right, most of the map's probably gonna be in this direction. We are just rinsing enemies because we have played this game slow. I think the hardest runs for me are the ones that I don't get to play slow. So when I'm going for things like Hush and Boss Rush, yep. I think when you have to... Oops. I think when you have the availability to go really slow in the game, um, I think when you have the availability to go really slow, you're going to win a lot of your runs if you're not playing a bullshit character that just has the chance of dying without any sort of chance. Careful of these guys, the Slugmas, um, that... that jump around they jump around in the muck on the ground and they can spawn under you they are pieces of shit i hate them they're not invited to my birthday party but you are you're invited to my party chat all right the reason why we kept the fool card is because we can go in here and then we can fool out so we don't take the damage on the way out pretty good also got the damage up finally from the purity again then up here we can take the death card which just does big aoe to the room Do, 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 do. I'm slightly lost. I have found my way. Where the fuck do I go? Okay. Remember how I said that it's really easy to learn the map once you've played this game for a while? Benefit of the Magneto here. I've got to go, but yep. this run has been amazing so far. Keep up the good work, Professor Prime. Thank you, Rad Shiba. Uh, that tinted skull that you find on this on, on the floor of the mom fight will always give you a fool card. So even if you're not going for the beast fight and you need a fool card, you got a fool card. All right. So we could take the blanket, which gives us a soul heart, heals us a red heart, grants a shield, gives you a holy mantle when you're fighting a boss. Pretty good. Or we can spin this down and we can start getting some poggy items. I think that's pretty good with the uh, battery guy that we got going on. So... Yeah, we could get down to Hemolacria. We could get down to Hemolacria. I don't know how that works with this, but we also got this room. Um, it crashes the game with split shot. I think my computer can handle it. You guys want to? You guys want to place bets? Of whether my computer can handle uh, Trisagion Proctosis split shot? 
Alright, we've already been over all this shit. <laughs> hey, Gimpy. Oh, no. I want it so bad. <laughs> I can't get it. No, I want I want to, to re-roll into the other split shot. Fuck. I'm going to fight this guy just in case he gives me a bloody recharge charge. Look at our damage now. Okay. So you can blow up blue fires. Blue fires have a 10% chance of drawing a soul heart. Just for clarity's sake. Oh my god. So euthanasia is really good. It is counts as a syringe item towards the spun transformation. We give you a two damage up and spawns a pill. Um, you could also take the next item though, spin down, which is the pepper, which will, some of your tears will fire fires, which are really good. Or you can get Jacob's Ladder because I'm trying to crash the fucking game. <laughs> Why not pick Gimpy up? Because we may, we may have a chance to get back into that angel deal with a full charge of spin down. That's why. There's a chance. All the knowledge. Thank All you, Frosty. Knowledge. Ah! You piece of poo poo. Hey, would you guys like to blow yourself up? Because that's what Kamikaze does. It literally just makes you a bomb. Also, Ghost of Azazel, thank you very much for the seven. All right, we could go fight the mom fight. We don't have a full charge, though. And the thing with the, the fight on this floor, on the Dank Depths 2 or the... Uh, any th the, the ones that spawn that spooky room in the front. Um, we know that you can't get out without a teleport card. We have the teleport card because we're going to use it. But we don't have a full charge right now on our item. So we would like a full charge. So that if we do get the angel room, we can use it. So we're going to go back to the beginning. Um, and we're going to play this fucking battery beggar. We're going to ask you, please, sir, do not pay out with an item ever. So this guy, even though we don't have any item that allows us to charge above a full charge, he, for the cost of money, will charge you up to, at most, two full charges. So you can use the item twice. Can't take that. I don't, yeah, you can't take that because we don't have the item that allows us to have two charges. He's just got to be generous and give it to us himself. Nice. All right. Now that we have double full charge, we're going to go fight the boss. Because if we uh, don't get the angel deal, we're just going to teleport out. If we do, Poggy. Because then we get more things that'll crash the game. And I'm really excited. This chat thinks that I'm going to crash the game. I don't believe that I will crash the game. Did the prop bet happen, by the way? I, don't, I, I, I didn't see it. Wait, actually. Yeah, we should spin down... We should spin down into Trisagion before we go, because we only need one full charge on the boss. And the boss will give us a charge. It's fine. This is fine. Well, if we're wanting to really min-max... <laughs> Let's do this. Let's do this. Hold on. Hold on, Chad. So we are going to try to min-max this as much as possible by... Sorry, you can have money too. By getting one below a second full charge here. You stop spawning those. Hopefully, we can just get one below a full charge. And then the mom deal will give us that last full charge. Because this guy has a chance of just giving you one charge and not two. All good. All good. With that, with that, we now go reroll the trap room. I don't think it'll work. Chat, it literally gave it to me. Yeah, we want to spin this guy down twice for sure. Take the Jacob's Ladder. Which now, our tears randomly shock shit all around us. All right, now we can go and get the double item charge again. Oops, wrong way. Thank God he didn't take Hemo. No, 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 no. Chat told me that this would crash my game. It is not currently crashing my game. 
I do remember being told that this would crash my game. Let it be known that the professor knows far more than Twitch chat. I think Hemo would crash it. I don't think so. I know, actually, I know for a fact that it wouldn't crash it because I've had it and it hasn't crashed it. My computer's just too powerful. We actually don't have much of a reason to want to TP out of here, right? Am I correct on that? Let us do one final thing. We could reroll this a bunch. We actually could reroll this a bunch and see if we could get something really pog. One thing you can do though is if you go to your donation machine, you give it 10 coins. You get a little bit more angel chance over devil chance. Right now we don't really care because we have chaos, but the angel chance doesn't make us take damage if we get it. So, all right, stud finder. Yeah, I guess we'll take it. It's not a bad trinket. Just allows us to sometimes find stuff. Let's hippity hop in. Wow, we did it. So the Polaroid and the negative are very simple items. The Polaroid gives you an invincibility if you're going to take half a red heart or, 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 or uh, if you're, when you're getting hit and it would take you to half a red heart or none, um, which is really good if you don't have a lot of HP or a lot of red heart HP because you could have 12 soul hearts and always get Polaroid invincibility anytime you take damage. Uh, the negative gives you a damage up uh, and then anytime you take damage, um, or it's similar to the Polaroid when you get to half a red heart, it'll deal big damage to everyone in the room. Uh, we don't really care about that shit though because... We care about what path we're going. The Polaroid allows you to go on specific paths. Uh, the, the the Polaroid allows you to go to the upset up, up, up direction towards the the chest and fight Blue Baby. This takes you down towards the lamb and fight uh, the the lamb at the lamb, uh, which we're just gonna go for the sake of of ease. We're just gonna go up. It's the easier route. It's what people do when they do streaks. So it'll be it'll it'll be what I use to teach you more of the game, and then. We didn't get our angel deal, which is unfortunate, but no crash in the game. Let us go now. Reroll the fuck out of that shop and see what we can get. Because I don't know a lot of the spin down stuff. So maybe there's something really, really cool that we can get lower down on the the on the, the totem pole. That battery beggar is very, very good for us. Uh. All right. We don't really care about seeing kamikaze. So let's just start rerolling. Boom. Boom. We could take Tammy's head because we... No, we didn't take school bag, so we can't take Tammy's head. Uh, Tammy's head is just a space bar that fires 10 rings around Isaac. Uh, let's go see how much this guy is willing to give us in charges. It's only giving you space bar items? It could, though, get us to Necronomicon, which could be another book touch for the uh, bookworm transformation. So if we can get all the way down there, which I think is highly unlikely... I'm pretty happy about that. Thanks for the one charge, buddy. Can we still get the angel room from the sack room? No, we're right now at the hit where it would spawn an angel. And then after that, it would just uh, spawn the soul hearts or the, or the money. Which we'll definitely go use in a second because we would like the money to continue to play this guy. Um, if the other beggars, other than like the rotten beggar and the battery beggar, have a much higher chance of paying out with an item. Um, or, yeah, the other beggars have a much higher chance of paying out with an item. So these guys are really, really good if you're just wanting to farm up and getting a bunch of resources. Do angel items, do angels still give angel items if you already have the key? No, they will not give you anything. They will give you a whole lot of nothing. They will if you have feather, yep. Do, 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 do. Hip. Hip, see? Look at the bookworm transformation. This is why you min-max your freaking runs, chat. All right, now we're going to fucking hope and pray. We need to hit, get the seven troll bombs. We just, we swallowed our trinket, which is cool. Hits. 
Die, bitch. And please give me money. Please give me money. Please give me money. Mm. Fuck! I wanted the money. Uh, so that decreases the likelihood that we're going to be able to get to both of the books. We can still maybe get to one. You know what we could do here? Fattest tech of all? Buy this. You poop once. It gives you nothing. Fuck. Whoops. I didn't mean to give coins to that. All right. Start seeing if we can't get a bunch of money with our bombs. I would like to get at least one more book touch. One more book touch, I will be extremely happy. You're gonna, you're gonna give me a double here, aren't you? You're gonna give me a double. And this is where we're gonna start taking pills. Um, Cause pills can spawn 48 hour energies, which can give you a bunch of charges. So we are going to, for the first time this run, take pills. Cause it could actually help us more than it will hurt us because losing a little bit of HP, small bit of tier rank, not gonna be the end of the world. Not going to be the end of the world. Almost just went into the boss room. Let me touch the book. We need one more book touch to get the bookworm transformation. All right, let's see what pill this is. Amnesia makes us forget the floor. <laughs> uh, we could... Hold on. Give me charge. Bitch. Didn't give me charge. Uh, that would be good tears. Good. Te oh, we have a bed to every room on the floor. Let's fucking go. Come on, baby. Yes. All right. And that's why we search. We're currently an hour and 27 minutes in. And now we got bookworm, which now sometimes will fire two bullets. All right. Let's go grab our last soul heart. And it's time to go down to the mom floor. Which is gross if you think about it because you're kind of jumping inside your mom's pussy. Um, it's metaphorical. This is called utero. Where else would I... Anyways, uh, on the mom floor, Soul of Lilith gives you a random familiar for the rest of the run. Pretty good. Soul of we got another Lilith. eye. Both of the eye guys. Um, so the mom floor normally will deal it. We'll start dealing everything after this. We'll start doing a full heart of damage to you. Now we do have the wafer, which is going to prevent that. But just keep that in mind. If you're watching other streamers, um, a lot of times once they start getting onto the mom floor, they'll just try to go as, 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 as best they can to try to find the boss. And then as soon as they find the boss, they'll just do the boss and they'll fucking dip. I'm going to try to find the boss as fast as possible. But since we have spin down, I would like to most likely full clear the floor afterwards. Not right fucking now, please. <laughs> I would like to full clear the floor after finding the boss so that I can extract more value. Ooh, Sigil of Baphomet activates a one-second shield upon killing an enemy. This trinket is what we call broken. This is one of the best trinkets in the game. You notice that we're invincible all the time now. Broken. That can give us three more charges on our on our item after the boss, so we'll wait on that. Go in here while we still have invincibility. Let's open that. Grab our Soli. Open that. That transforms into Ayabalile and then spins down again into Parasitoid. That's great. What? <laughs> I don't know what those are, but those are fucking planetarium items. We could also just get a damage up from leaving, though. We could also just take our damage up from leaving. But I really want the Parasitoid. More Spooties. I think, I think we just leave. I think we just I think we just leave. I think we leave, we take the D up. That's a free D up. It's a free D up, chat. I okay, I'll use my space bar here, and if we come back, we'll consider it. But that's a free D up right there. Ooh. 
I mean, we already, if we want to get Parasitoid, have to re-roll and then come back. Right? Like, that already has to happen. So. Why is it a free D-up? Because I have the the item Redemption. That will give me a free D-up if I refuse Devil Deals. Did it give it to us? I don't think it did. Did it not give us the D? All I wanted was to get the D. What the heck, man? That is not the secret room. We have five bombs. We can check. Oh, it'll give it on the next floor. Okay, interesting. Never use the item. And we can get it a second time, which is interesting. Apparently, from what Chan is telling me. All right, we found the secret room. Is Super Secret's not up there? Super Secret's probably on one of these random walls out here. Pretty annoying to look for. I'm just going to fight the boss. Hey, thanks. The soul. Grants an aura that projects and repels enemies. That's pretty good. So. <sighs> it's so good. They're so good. And then once we take these items, we don't get the redemption. Yeah, we don't get the redemption. But then this fills up our soul hearts again. Um, so what Neptunus does is you see that bar that's charging around? If I let it charge, it gives you a massive tears up until you drain it. And then it'll slowly fill up and get a higher and higher tears up the, the more you let it charge. And you can like tap fire really hard and get a billion tears. Let's go fight the mob trap room to get more uh, a, a, a higher charge on our item when we go up to the next floor just in case we find something fast might as well this could also give us an item in here like ludovico which i don't really want though thank you it also it does spin down into a damage up which is interesting as fuck that that spins down into the negative but i really don't want ludovico ludovico just makes you you get one big tier and you have to control it around the screen i think that this is a little bit better for us so we're not going to take that interesting that it turns into that though so about breaking your game notice how my game isn't even fucking stuttering though huh break my game chat make it crash make my game crash oh wait you can't ludo puke ban that guy mods 20 dollars, please to ban that guy we like ludo in this house can i get a poggy for ludo please we like ludo uh yeah so we're not gonna take ludovico let us go down yeah, Ludo could be, could be very poggy, especially on characters like the Lost, where you might want to stay safe off to the side and let, like, your tier from very far away deal some damage. <sighs> so this guy right here, he's a devil beggar. You can play him and you can get an item from him. Now, you know, normally he'd give you a, a devil deal item, but for us, we, we don't get that because of chaos. Um, but we can get an item and then start spending the rest of the floor spinning it down into a better item. Normally on this floor, he would take a full heart, but again, we have the Wafer, which is Omega Pog. Oh, yeah. Sorry, we have uh, Polaroid Invincibility right now. As you can see, we're at a half heart. We can do things for free right now, which is great. And we get an item called Immaculate Heart. What a fantastic item to get. What an amazing item. It gives you full health. It gives you a 20% damage up. And now we're going to start getting some orbiting tears around us that is not going to crash our game. Okay, it, it, choked, it choked for just a second there. I monked. Uh, let's go ahead and Soul of Lilith. We got Incubus. Oh no. 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 It's, it's struggling. Okay. Uh, I don't think telescopic lens will work since we're already here. I think it's already spawned the floor. I could be wrong, but uh, this trinket that we have currently... Chance to spawn a random locust when killing an enemy. Okay. No. It's still working. It's still here. We haven't crashed yet. No! <laughs> okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. It's just, it needed to update the game if you can't see that. It needed to update the game. Uh, we just had to update. Oh, oh God. Oh God. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I think. Nice I think, 
It is Good okay curve. if we take. Pretty nice curve. I'm like 99% sure. Is perfect. It is Only okay if we. The color consistency. It gets a little light near the tip. Uh -huh. I give it an overall eight. Seven tenths. Now onto the cum velocity testing. Whatever you just did, uh, I'm trying to do an overexplained run. So like, could you not? I'm pretty sure we could take Immaculate Heart. I'm I'm I'm, I'm like 99% sure. We should have taken the trinket to swallow it. But I'm pretty sure it was only the Incubus that crashed us. So we could take the Incubus because I'm pretty sure that the only thing that crashed us there was the Immaculate Heart. The Incubus is perfectly fine for us to take um, in this situation here. Yeah, we'd rather swallow this. Okay, we, can, we can use Soul of Lilith. We don't need to make that guy pay out. All right, let's use Soul of Lilith. Let's grab our Incubus, and it's not going to crash the game. Like I said, it's not going to crash the game. Okay. It is not going to crash the game. Now that we have this, we can roll this down into a very good damage up item that is not going to crash the game. Mm, it's not going to crash the game. Not going to crash the game here, I don't think. This can spawn one coin. Did not spawn one coin. Mm. Oh, every single time it's just clenching my butt. I mean, it's really easy to not crash the game when your computer is just good enough to handle it, man. You know, just... Professor Frost gets the best technology from his college. <laughs> I'm showing you the usefulness of your spiders here on this floor, in this room. I just wanted to l show you guys the usefulness of all these spiders that we've accumulated. Um, <laughs> very good, if you can't tell. <laughs> 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 so, uh, statistically speaking here, we are preventing the game from crashing by uh, updating the polarity in real time of... <laughs> hey, let's see what we get from this chest. You can't even hold it down? Listen, man, I'll prove to you that I can hold it down on the next floor, okay? The next floor, I will prove to you that I can hold it down. Deal? Just give me till the next floor. <laughs> Did that chest just give me a fucking Trinity shield? Wait, wait. Wait, 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 chat. Wait, that counted as, as... Okay, I guess we're taking the Trinity shield. You want to re-roll that into anything. We're going up because we took the Polaroid. So the Trinity Shield of your facing tears, they'll just get blocked. Okay, watch. I will prove to you in this next room that we can hold down our... Okay, not in this room because there's no enemies in here. Prove to you in the next room that I need to fight people in. I can do it. I can... It be just to sneeze on people constantly. Just give them a little sneeze. A little sneeze. Why does Andrew still not work? Uh. One second. I'll try to fix it. I try to fix. Oh, I think I know why. All right. 
maybe try it now. It also might be on a five minute cooldown. But it it should work now. It might be on cooldown right now. And I can't I can't take it off cooldown. But if not, just wait five minutes and then do it. Or wait ten minutes. We got in here again. Open. Okay, we opened two of them at, at, at accident because of the because uh, of our, our Magneto opening chests from far away. We still are hunting for some items though. Getting nothing though. Unfortunate. Yeah. By the way, uh, the last floor that you can get a Devil Deal from the boss or an Angel Deal is the floor is is the the Mom's Heart floor. Uh, after that, angel, or angel and devil deals will spawn, but you just need some sort of like a joker card or a, a red chest to teleport you there. Um, is the game going to crash? No, the game's not going to crash. The game's never going to crash. Let's take this Empress card. It's really good against Mega Satan. I know how to make it not crash. I'm really smart. Look at how smart I am. I will say, if you get close to uh, getting to the chest or the dark chest, uh, start saving up some keys. Because on the chest floors, all chests that open will spawn an item. Um, and especially on the chest and not the dark chest, you need a couple of keys to open up those first four chests that spawn. Obviously, the ones that are on the dark chest are going to be devil chests, and they're going to have devil deals inside of them. <sighs> this is the first one this entire run. This is the first Dwayne that we've seen all run. So normally this rock will just have an X on it. It means if you blow it up, it's going to give you some stuff. A lot of times it's going to be soul heart. Sometimes it's going to be chest. Sometimes it might be an item. likely parasitoid since it has a tendency to crash the game if you shoot at rocks from a bad angle. Understandable. All right. That was Isaac. I know he's uh, being very informative about that boss, but we, we beat Isaac. At some point, I'm not supposed to explain anything anymore. You just gotta understand we fucking broke the run and we're owning. So here we see four items. We know that if we reroll the miter, which has a higher chance to spawn soul hearts, we can get sack dagger, which is a great orbital. Uh, that we can get spilled milk. Um, and spilled milk is anytime you take damage, it will uh, respawn or it'll it'll give you a massive tears up for the room, breaking the cap. That item sucks too. Pandora's box really sucks on the chest. So Pandora's box, every floor gives you something different. On the chest, it gives you one coin. So we're going to go ahead and reroll all of these. Um, we're going to go for this item right here on top of me. That's a very large damage up. Sneeze. I sneeze. Uh, also, big tip here. Big tip here. Uh, luck matters a good amount if you're going for things like the chest. Because luck matters for your tier effects and also whether or not an, a, a room that you complete will spawn uh, will spawn a, uh, a a payout. And the payouts on this floor can just be gray chests if you have a lot of luck. And then if you have a lot of luck and you spawn a gray chest, then ixo facto, bing, bang, boom, you get more chest payouts, you get more item payouts. It's pretty pong. So having positive luck is pretty good. Don't get upset if you have negative luck and you come down, you come up to the chest and you get zero chest payouts. If I get zero chest payouts at one luck though, then I'm gonna maul. Then I will maul right in front of you. All right, let's go ahead and just uh, slap a little bit of that. We're getting down into some fine items. This, uh, the bat item on that one's gonna give us a damage up. We like that. Um, we could go for dimensional baby. Probably not, might crash the game. Could, could go for Dr. Fetus or Epic Fetus. Chat, we're getting into some Zane range. Do we go for the Epic Fetus? I think we're still going just for Polythemus. We're going to get Mega Tears and maybe force our game to crash and we can't win this run. Zero chest spawns, man. Yeah, let's just go ahead and take this. Gave us a uh, small tears down, but it gave us um, a much larger damage up that won't be really quantifiable until we, until we start owning. Um, I think we go for the damage up off that. And I think we just keep rolling everything else, man. 
We just keep rolling everything else. Anytime that we get a full charge, we can head on back. A forget me now restarts the current floor, which means we could get even more fucking items. We don't have school bags, so we're going to hold off on that because we, we... Okay, so this is a mega chest. It can take between two and seven keys to open. It will spawn two, ch two items or a bunch of shit, but obviously it's going to spawn items on here. Gives us another chance at that guy. It'll give us the sharp straw. Cool, 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 cool. Is that smoke I see coming from your GPU? No. See nothing. Uh, that re-rolls into a pretty good item. That's a good damage up or a massive tears up in the P. That's a jumbo pill in there. I think we go a little bit of this. Take a little bit of that. Our damage goes up 0.63. Poggy. P would probably cause a crash. P would actually be really good right now, wouldn't it? Because it would give us a massive tears up. Do we go P, chat? Do we P? Chat, is it P time? We're actually going to go here and we're going to take this because it gives us a full charge. Hello, Mr. Streamer. It Frost. doesn't give us a full charge. Never mind. I was wrong. It doesn't give us a full charge. And that was a waste. Yeah, it's a range down, but I don't give a fuck if it's a range down. I already have to get close to things because of proctosis. Polythemus, whichever one's the short range related one. Tooth the Nail can be pretty good. Turns invincibility every now and then. So when we're not already invincible from our our uh, trinket, we'll get more invincibility. Fervor, thank you very much for the seven months, man. I appreciate that greatly. Game's holding it together, man. Holding it together greatly. When you use Forget Me Now, will you not be able to do Mega Satan? That is true. We won't be able to do Mega Satan because we've already used the key. So yeah, we do actually not use forget me now. That's a that's a good thought. Thank you, students. I was testing you. It was all a test. Alright, let's do a little bit. Do a little bit of this. Alright. Oh, oh, I don't think we can get there, man. I don't think we can get there. I wanna get there. I want to get to the largest of raw damage up in the entire game in the form of Cricket's head. But if all I can get is P. Oh, whoops. Where am I going? Nah, I don't think we can. I don't think it's possible. Glitter bombs could drop batteries. Uh, e oh, man. <laughs> Right, let's just go beat Blue Baby real quick. Don't. Actually, give me the perfection trinket because this will give us a great chance of nothing because we've beaten the entire run. Can you explain why you just hit the wall? Because uh, I'm an idiot. So yeah, we have golden bombs that we got, and we got glitter bombs. Glitter bombs gives you a chance for bombs to just give you something. So since we have golden bombs, which is infinite bombs for the rest of the floor, Chad is giving me the idea of just bombing and bombing and bombing. I don't know if I... I it, does, it doesn't matter, though, does it? it like, it, 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 at this point, you can stall for the, the, the pog, or you can recognize... Pill. That we've already won. And that we don't need anything else. Oh, wait, bitch. No, we're not really rolling all our stats. I'm not, I, I'm not doing this, chat. I'm not doing this. I'm taking blood of the martyr. I'm taking blood of the martyr. I'm taking this guy, and we're going to kill Mega Satan in 0.25 seconds. 
And if we get delirium, we'll do delirium. Hi, I'm Brian, here hey. to talk to you about one of the most valuable traits a streamer or viewer can have. Patience. Sometimes patience is the key to beating one. Sometimes it leads to very little, and it seems like it's not worth it. And you wonder why you waited so long for something so disappointing. So Mega Satan is normally a very long, drawn out, and very difficult fight. But because we fucking because because we min max the shit out of this run. Look at that. We've clicked twice. We've clicked thrice. We quick click another time. Four times. Five times. Six times. Seven times. Okay, this you're getting a little bit embarrassing. Eight times. Um, delirium. Give me delirium. I wanted the delirium. I know I could have TP'd out and gotten the gotten the forget me now, but I wanted the delirium. We completed our objective. I hope you learned something today. If you did learn something today, leave a like on the video. Leave a comment telling me what you learned. And maybe you'll see Professor Frost in, a, in, in another video. Thank you, thank you. Remember, milk your runs for everything they've got, and then you don't have to focus anymore. That's what we did. You can do it too.